finish this very shortly, you really want to walk free. Really. It's freaking awesome. My name's Tyler. My name's Rosa. I'm Ella. My name is Justin Hool. Uh, my name is Joe. My name's Rename. Around seventh grade, my dad got cancer, and I, at the time, I thought I'd, I could deal with it. It wasn't a big deal or whatever, and um, then it really started to affect me. I started drinking. Eighth grade, I started smoking weed a lot. Ninth grade, did ecstasy. Well, grew up just kind of a regular kid. Uh, started smoking when I was in about seventh, sixth grade. Uh, I never really stuck to it until about high school, where everything just kind of picked up. Um, I started drinking around age 13, um, went to a drinking party with a couple buddies, you know, I was already the guy that was too drunk, an addict from the get-go. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 12, I started drinking when I was 12. I first started using when I was 13, I used until late 15, early 16 years old, and then I got sent to treatment. Just as like time went by, I it got worse and worse. I started like drinking and smoking every day, trying to get away from my problems. Kind of realized that wasn't working. Started experimenting with other drugs, marijuana, um, different assortment of pills, over the counters, prescriptions, and my addiction spiraled, spiraled out of control. I had three near-death experiences because of drugs, so that's when I like hit my bottom. I kind of realized I needed a change. I guess I didn't really think I was going to have a happy future. I had failed most of my high school career. I tried going back to my normal high school, and I used two weeks after I got there because I didn't have like a big system of people that were sober around me. I tried to go back to my mainstream high school and it never, it never felt right. I didn't fit in anymore, and I, I couldn't go to school anymore. I felt like I didn't belong in school, at least in my old school. Every time I have had a relapse, I spiraled even deeper into my addiction. It's like diving into a kiddie pool head first and just going in twice as hard. If I wasn't in recovery, my life would be a mess. I wouldn't know what to do. Where my life was headed, I... I wasn't going to survive very long at all, and um, I probably, well yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't be alive, just put it that way. Attending Sobriety High School was like a gift from God that I could have an education with teachers that were so close to me, that understood me. I guess I felt like I stood a chance again against the uh, world when I came here because they helped me kind of get back into the, the normal. They're really here, here to help us and listen to us. Like I can come in here and like tell everyone my problem. Like I know they'd all be there to support me in some some way, somehow. Oh, having prom too just a little bit ago, that was, that was something even different for me. Getting ready for prom, I noticed there was no anxiety or anything like that uh, about actually going to the dance. Um, I was never nervous for anything like that. If anything, I was excited. So uh, it was a big change for me that I saw. And like being here, I'm allowed to open up and like be the real me. I don't have to hide behind pills or a bottle or whatever it is. And I can actually have fun with myself and with my true friends. And they're not using me for something. Oh, it's really cool to see like people you never see hanging out, being best friends and stuff, like some of the friends I have I would never talk to before and I don't know, it's just cool seeing like all these kids, teenagers, young adults being together, just being happy without anything. If it wasn't for sobriety, I don't think I'd be graduating high school, I'd probably be, honestly I think I'd be dead by now. It's been a long road for me, but if it wasn't for this school, my treatment centers, and for Alcoholics Anonymous, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't rather be anywhere. This place gave me a chance to succeed again. If it wasn't for sobriety high, I probably would have, wouldn't have graduated. Um, I would have followed probably the footsteps of a lot of my family. Like, I'm, I'm graduating this year, and I really, 
I don't know what I would have done with all this place. This place changed my life. I haven't had so much fun in my life. Oh god. Warm up, we up, come on. There you go. People say being sober is boring. Well, I think you're just a boring person if you do drugs and alcohol, you know?